Hello children, do you often fight with your siblings or friends over your toys and your parents say that you need to share? Guess what? We also have a bear who doesn't want to share and today's story is the bear who would not share and it's written by Oakley Graham and illustrated by Lizzie Walkley. Let's start the story. Bear had spent the whole morning making cakes and had covered them in yummy icing. They looked and smelled amazing. Bear was admiring his cakes when there was a loud knock on his front door. Hello Bear, said Owl. I was flying by and I could not help but notice the delicious smell coming from your house. I don't suppose that you would share one of your yummy cakes covered in icing with me, said Owl as he peered at the cakes in the kitchen. No, said Bear. As Bear started to clear up the mess that he had made while he's baking, there was a second knock on his front door. That's strange, said Bear. I don't usually have many visitors. Bear opened the door and was surprised to see Fox on his doorstep. Hello, Bear, said Fox. I was walking by and I could not help but notice the delicious smell coming from your house. I don't suppose that you would share one of your yummy cakes covered in icing with me, said Fox as she spied the cakes in the kitchen. No, said Bear. Bear went back to cleaning the kitchen and he almost finished when he heard the sound of knocking on his front door again. Hello Bear, said Rabbit. I was hopping by and I could not help but notice the delicious smell coming from your house. I don't suppose that you would share one of your yummy cakes covered in icing with me? Said Rabbit as she admired the cakes on display. No, said Bear. News of Bear's yummy cakes covered in icing quickly spread throughout the neighborhood and many of Bear's friends came to visit him. No, no, no. No! 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 After a busy morning of baking, Bear was feeling very tired. He stopped to admire his cakes once more, then went upstairs to have a nap. When Bear woke up from his nap, he was very hungry indeed. He could not wait to eat one of his yummy cakes covered in icing. But when he got downstairs, Bear could not believe his eyes. The yummy cakes covered in icing were gone. Bear raced outside. Rabbit, have you seen my yummy cakes covered in icing? Um, no. Fox, have you seen my yummy cakes covered in icing? Oh, have you seen my yummy cakes covered in icing? Eh, no. Then Bear saw his cub, Little Bear, holding one of his yummy cakes covered in icing. Little Bear had seen the cakes and had decided to share them with his friends. Although Little Bear should have asked if he could share the cakes, Bear could not be angry with him. Seeing all of the happy faces covered in icing, Bear realized that it was good to share. I don't suppose that you would share some yummy cake covered in icing with me, said Bear. As he admired the last cake Little Bear was holding. Yes, Little Bear replied. 
And that is the end of today's story. But what we have learned, we have learned that it's always good to share. Thank you for watching this video and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next time. Bye.